They're all crazy people that used to kiss their sister down the lane. Like, exactly, and mailed their own jib to girls in their year. I'm glad we got jib into the podcast. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah, that was uh, Johnny Cash, uh, boy named Sue, live in San Quentin. That's crazy, like, I knew the whole story. I would have kind of, I had that on my list. Now, because we didn't, I didn't research it because you had that as your thing, mm. I probably wouldn't maybe have found that that's actually crazy that that's someone from San Quentin. Mm. And an actual ghost. There's a story that's, about that's a. Crazy. There's a story about a white supremacist uh, prison, oh, those. prison guard. I hate those people. Um, who was pushed down the stairs by a black prison guard in San Quentin doing the rounds that he is still haunting the place, as well. So, so it is fucking a bit. Apparently, so I'd say apparently Alca- Alcatraz. That's definitely haunted. Um, That's definitely haunted. Alcatraz apparently is haunted the fuck, but yeah, no, I don't think anybody be. ever played a gig in Alcatraz. Uh, that I know of, I don't know. So who's your next one? The next one is um, This Heat. Who are they? This Heat are um, an experimental kind of post-punk band from England. They recorded an album in 1981 called Deceit. The reason they call it Deceit is because it was a play on their name, This Heat. So if you're okay. if you're in a band and someone goes deceit, no, this heat, deceit. So yeah. they embraced the the fuck up and called the album deceit. The song is a new kind of war. I'm glad it's on on Spotify because it's the only song on Spotify by. Oh really? Heat. By them? Yeah, because deceit, this deceit. The Stop album. saying deceit. Deceit. The album. This this, this heat. heat. The album. No, sorry, This Heat, the band, are not on Spotify apart from the song. Now, they are being... I don't think I've ever heard a word they said are, that many times. They are being released on Spotify fully in their full discography. With their, they've only got two albums. They are going on Spotify this week. But this was uh, on some sort of um, compilation that I found. I'm glad because they recorded their album, The Seat, in a um, disused meat locker. Fuck. In Brixton, in England. Now, This, this Heat are... Very hard to listen to, right. but I am really into them. I actually really, really like listening to them. And this song, A New Kind of Water, is one of the most weirdly accessible songs by them. So the first minute is the first minute is really hard to listen to, but mm. after that they get into an actual what we will call a song that you would listen to. Mm. So the first album is is Jazz Insanity. Mm. If you really want to get into their first album, go for it. Like, the name of the first album actually escapes me now because of all the gargle. But the album, delicious gargle, so so much delicious gargle. So they recorded this album in Brixton in a place that they, they this is their studio that they owned in a in a converted meat locker. Okay, where there's no this is another one of the there's no actual particularly haunted story about anything that happened here but I saw pictures just a grim place I saw pictures of the of this place called Cold Storage mm. so Cold Storage is where they, what they named their place it's basically in an old meat, meat pie factory yeah where there would have been a colossal amount of death yeah now me and you <coughs> non meat ears mm. when we think of a meat locker it hurts us even more mm. <laughs> I don't give a fuck I don't give a fuck about what people eat or do or don't do I just don't eat meat for my own reasons yeah. or like that. and you're the same so this heat are an incredibly difficult band to really listen to if you're not accessible yeah they're not, not accessible but there's absolutely incredible stuff going on with this heat stuff so they repurposed a, a cold room mm. and I've, saw, I've, I've seen pictures of the outs not the outside of it but I've seen pictures of the, the kind of communal area and it's grim as fuck looking. Really? Like they were talking, there's still sinks there and the whole white tiled wall and the place looks, the place looks grim as fuck. So they recorded almost all of the Deceit album in this place in, in things. So there would have been like a massive amount of dead animals hanging mm. there over the years in this meat pie factory. I don't have a huge amount apart from that, apart from the fact that it's just a terrible place. The idea place. of a yeah. of a cold room yeah. is uh, and, and repurposing it for a, for a recording studio. Um, I just also wanted to really get this heat into a podcast. <laughs> and this was the perfect opportunity. It's like, well, what are we going to do? Crazy. Bad places. Crazy. No, just crazy. Post-punk bands. Yeah. So our post-punk bands. Um, have a listen to it on YouTube if you can. The whole album to see. It's difficult enough to listen to, but there's some absolutely really... Uh, Really, really influential stuff going mm. on with this scene. But I think 
look at the only reason I really picked this here is because I looked at pictures of Cold Storage, the place was, and it looks grim as fuck. Mm. Recording album. There was no pictures of the actual recording studio, but there was a picture of them in this place that had metal walls behind them, and I'm pretty sure that's where maybe they recorded this mm. with the metal walls for some reason. Would that give some sort of resonant acoustic, Would, yeah. acoustic resonance? Yeah. A terrible one, but yeah. A terrible. But if you listen to their stuff, the first album was recorded over loads of different places, but this was the first place they sat down and recorded, and, and it was their last one as well. Mm. They released an album called uh, From the Cold Storage, which was all the B-sides, I think, released from that session and stuff like that as well. But this, he, if you're into one of the bands we mentioned, Slint and stuff like that, and yeah. any kind of post-punk or post-rock stuff like that, give this heat a go. See if you like it. It's it's difficult, but worth it. I'm absolutely, I'm 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 I really like that album to see. Okay, so, I I didn't listen to uh, one or two of your tracks, and that's well, one, one of the ones I did not the listen to. But I will. For about a minute and a half, it just sounds like pain, absolute pain. <laughs> It the gr- the like, grimness is in yeah, the music. Did, did he like, have no commercial success at all until all, yeah. the re-release? We, we talk about a lot about re-releases and deceit. The deceit. It's the fucker. Fuckers for doing this. This is this is why they did this. This heat and the album deceit are two different <laughs> things from the same band. <laughs> but check it out. This was uh, they split up in 1992. I think they came back uh, this year for a quick tour with the remaining members and did mm. a couple of little things, but. Uh, this song is genuinely creepy as fuck. Good. And it's one of the most... It's, it's just the second last song on the album as well. The reason I picked it is because A, it's the only song that's on Spotify <laughs> as part of that a comp- as, as part of a compilation. Yeah. But uh, this is the album that was recorded in a repurposed meat locker. So give it a bash. Who's your next one? Uh, I picked uh, Testament. I love Testament, but I didn't know the story, so I waited till I waited the, till the, you. I'm gonna be honest. With you, the story is decent, but it's uh, it's more colloquial. Like it's more colloquial. He's coming out with some bangers tonight, lads. <laughs> um, okay, so I, I picked a song called "The Pale King." Now I, I don't know that this song was actually recorded in the studio. Um, it, it, I, I could have put more research, research in and found the song recorded. Definitely in that studio, but let's call it a 50 50 shot. So, Testament yeah, this, did this happened to me with the last band, it yeah. was really hard to pin down where they recorded it, this it can particular be, yeah. song. Yeah, so Testament had a recording studio called Driftwood Studios, okay, in the 90s, but uh, they only used it a couple of times and they knocked it on the head. Yeah, now in 2005, they decided to uh, get their own little studio going again. So they found a place in Pittsburgh, California, not Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, California, in an industrial estate. Do you know what I find funny about California? They have the names of a lot of places from Ireland, mm. England, and also the rest of America. Yeah. Just like, sort of like just names from places. The, the that further they... west you go, the more uh, repetitive names. Do you reckon that's like from cowboy times where they went, I used to live in this place yeah. and I've come to a place that doesn't yeah. actually exist, I will call it. Yeah. The place where I'm New from. Orleans, New yeah. York, New Jersey, or but they're, they're Dub- the original Dublin places. Dublin is in like in. Uh, There's a couple of Dublins. There's Dublin, in, Ohio. Ohio, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but crazy. the further west you go, you're just going to get repetitions, yeah. right? Yeah. So they uh, bought a unit in an industrial estate in this fucking Pittsburgh, California. I don't know what the fuck else is in this place. Um, it was just a fucking concrete building that had been sitting there for years and years and years. Now. They put loads of money into the studio. Loads. They thought that this was going to be the place that they record everything from now on. They don't want to have to go and rent out studios. They're just going to take the money that they would pay to rent the studio for a couple of months to make an album. And they're going to put that into their own place. So, um, it had like two or three sub-basements. So, their uh, control room was in like a a one or two level down sub-basement. And their live room was on whatever ground floor or one floor below. But they put in a state of the art security system. Wow. They were like, I think the, the area had had a bunch of break ins in the year that they built in the, or put their stuff in the, in the, into the studio. And uh, they decided, like, let's just get a good fucking security system in and make sure everything's boxed off. But every single night, without fail, the movement sensors will be tripped in there. Every single night. And they would go back and they'd watch the footage and nothing moving. 
Like th- th- there's nobody in there. Put it that way. There's no nothing fucking happening. That's but crazy. the movement is being fucking tracked. They put down mouse traps, rat traps, all this kind of shit. And but there's still absolutely nothing being fucking triggered whatsoever. Bar movement on the camera. So something's being found. So one day they're hanging around outside the studio having a smoke, and this old man walks up. Now, what it gives his name, but it's not a real name. Ah, uh, fuck. I think he called himself Dan, but he didn't give a second name. I'm Dan. Yeah. Now, I'm Dan, gonna tell you a little bit of a story about of, this place. Kind of, right? Now also, can I bum a smoke off you lads? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dan turns around and he says, like, fucking what are you doing in there? So the lads in Testament say, We're after opening a recording studio. Dan says, Do you know that used to be a recording studio? He goes, What do you mean? Because like I used to record in there. That's why we found all those XLR cables yeah, just exactly. hanging around. Yeah. <laughs> Quarter inch tape brilliant. everywhere. Big fan. Of, I love Testament, by the way. I absolutely Testament love great. Yeah. This is actually a great song as well. Pale King's great song. Yeah. So he turns around and he says, look, I'm Chris Christopherson's cousin. And, uh, That's a lot of C's it. Yeah, and a K's. Yeah. That's just the only K's on this one C. All K's. Um, so he turns around and says, I'm Chris Christopherson's cousin. And uh, I used to play a bit of bass for Chris, and also I played in Willie Nelson's band back in the day. Wow. And this band, this uh, studio here was like one of the underground fucking places that, I, like, everyone from like Aretha Franklin to country stars used to come. To Sam Cooktrud. Uh... <laughs> exactly, yeah. So originally, apparently, it was called Norman Abercrombie Studios. So it was a studio? It was a studio. Holy shit. It actually has a history. Now, he started telling stories about fucking uh, when they used to record there. Because he was Chris Christopherson's cousin, apparently. Now I thought that's a weird lie to come out with. But um Yeah, you'd pick someone. You'd yeah. pick, I, I, I don't I don't know. He could have been talking shit, he might not have been. But he said that like that was their place and people used to like lock themselves in there for weeks on end and like do little demos and EPs and like singles. You know, I don't think they'd done too many albums in Norman Abercrombie Studios, but there was a bit of work going on in there. But that was their place for like musicians who knew that there was a studio that they weren't going to be put under too much pressure. Yeah. It was like relaxed. Uh, yeah, it's not going to also cost you a bomb. Exactly. It was just a relaxed studio atmosphere. And there's no one coming in, I want to use that room in, in, exactly. on this day, so get out. Yeah. So apparently uh, Norman died in uh, the early 80s and his son took over. Now apparently his son was like a local gangster guy who died under very, very fucking suspicious circumstances. Suspicious. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the studio just fell into disrepair and eventually was fucking sold. That boy was murdered. Exactly. <laughs> Murder. So apparently, fucking the son took over, but he was a local gangster. He dies real dodgy. Wow. And the studio falls into disrepair, is abandoned, gets fucking not necessarily knocked down, but stripped out by developers. The building just gets re- uh, reduced back to its concrete walls. And there you have it. Off you go. You just have another industrial unit. And boy, absolute torn twist of fate. Testament and buying it and turn it into a recording studio back to almost its former glory. But even that guy Dan, who said that every time anybody ever had to spend kind of a bit of time in there, they always heard fucking mad noises, people running around laughing, giggling. Now, what's what's interesting is I find it hard when people talk to me about like ghost stories in America, like where we are sitting right now. This is real fucked up. The space we are sitting in right now is older than America. Like yeah, m- then the country, right? Not the land, but their country because it all exists at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Surely, yeah. So they didn't they didn't start like populating the yeah. the, the, the soil of America exactly. after that. Yeah. So where where we're sitting right now was first registered as 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 a business in seventeen hundred and ten. And a few creepy things happened as we were recording. There's a few things <laughs> dropped behind. I think us. I think I know what it was. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. But so stuff though. stuff has happened in here. I don't necessarily believe that where we are right now was haunted. Um, there are people who have spent more night time here than me who have said mad shit. I've heard one or two. I heard, uh, heard a child screaming my name once in here. Once. Garrett. Yeah, a bit like that. Garrett, Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. And I ran out, what the fuck? And there was nobody else here. I have heard that. I have heard that. Um, I've heard loads of weird people walking around. Crazy. But again, I don't. Yeah. I, it's all bullshit. I do fucking know. Especially but, when you drink. All of the drinks that we did. <laughs> we are in an imbibing place. Um, 
But yeah, in uh, this uh, studio, which is now called Driftwood Studios, originally called Norman Abercrombie Studios, a lot of the people who spent 